And the bell is rung here for a tag team contest. On one side, we got Kid Kemp teaming with Sonny D. Soleil, taking on Bulldog Turner and Droit en Vacances. Larry, let me know a bit about uh, what you know about these interesting characters. Well, in the ring there, Bulldog Turner, just a scrappy little guy. Just doesn't give a damn. Always wants to fight. Biting on chains. Who bites on chains at all times of the week? We don't know. His dentist must either love or hate him. You know it. And you got Drouin en vacances, which means Drouin on vacation. Oh, okay, thank Lazy you. Lazy as hell. Um, look, the guy doesn't even want to fight. Kid Kemp, a young guy, up-and-comer in Montreal, um, ready to go. Look at him running to fight. But as you can see, Sonny Soleil, who was already in the ring, succeeded his place looking like he doesn't even want to fight. No, um, he was shaking hands. He doesn't look like he's in a fighting mood. He looks like he's in more of a uh, loving mood. Uh, spreading the love. Oh, clothesline by Kemp. Kid Kemp waking up here. Dre has definitely got the size advantage. Oh, he's been on vacation too long. He's he's he trying to take it easy Looks in there. like he's blow up. Oh, tags out to Bulldog Turner. I haven't seen one of those in a match. A literal timeout. Let me get out to get my air. That's Drew Wayne and vacation. That's right. He's going to probably continue that vacation later on today. As the Bulldog Turner's got a headlock on. Kemp off the ropes. Ducks by... Oh, big drop kick by Kemp. Kemp is a, a man that we got to look for in the future of 1-2-3 wrestling. Oh, Look at blade. that sling. Sling blade, blade. switch blade. I don't even know what you call those. But Kid Kemp's got it. Irish whip into the corner. Here he comes. Oh, big, big forearm. Big forearm there. And, uh, Kemp looks good right now. Off the ropes. Another forearm. This could be it. Only two, apparently. But that was very close. Bulldog Turner is going to tag in the lazy guy. I don't even know if the match is going to go. And it looks like Kid Kemp trying to do a tag here. And Sonny D is telling him to continue. Sonny D uh, keeping himself fresh on the side. He does have more experience. So this could be some kind of strategy by Sonny D. Soleil. But... Uh, at this point, uh, I think Kemp needs to get out of there because the team of uh, Dre and Turner seem to be definitely taking advantage at this point. The man's not getting any help here. This is a tag team match. It's just looking like a two-on-one brutality. That's right. All four men really eager to get a, uh, a big win here in 1-2-3 in wrestling. So, uh, you know, definitely uh, strategies are being played out. Double. Irish whip. Oh, clothesline. What does Dre have in mind? Oh, the pin. Dre wants to end this early. Dre wanted to end this when the match had started. The man is tired, you know. Yeah. He wants to get back to uh, going back to the pool. What else? Uh, eating some eating some bad foods. Just basically taking it easy. That's what the man's all about. And look at Kid Kemp. The Look at this man. He's just trying to fight back. A kick right into the gut. And I'll tell you something there, Prez. When someone, I don't care what kind of size you are, if somebody kicks you right into the gut. Oh, yeah. I'll take the air right out of you. The air. Hurt your liver, your spleen, whatever it could be. And here's more double teaming. Turner there looking the, when he licks his hand for the chop. And he just eye rakes the guy. What a sick Risking disqualification. I'm trying to be polite here with my words. I used to see more people falling in here at one, two, three wrestlings all the way up. Oh, Bulldog. By the Bulldog. It's got to be one of the best Bulldogs in wrestling. Only two. Sonny Soleil is still uh, fresh, as a, fresh as a daisy out on the, on the apron. And now I'm trying to think. I think that's how he keeps his gear so white. Wow. The man doesn't wrestle. He just stays at the corner. And it looks like he's managing at this point. What is he doing? And how is Kemp surviving this two on one? Kemp's definitely going to need some help. Bull Bulldog biting. Biting his hands. Like, you don't even have to do that. No, Bulldog is really uh, 
breaking the rules here. Unorthodox. I mean, really risking disqualifications multiple times throughout this match. But, hey, their strategy is working for them, as it looks like at this point the team of Dre and Turner are looking pretty good here, Larry. Good indeed. And here is uh, Drew here. What is he going to do? Oh, big, big shot. shot. And, and look at Kemp still standing up. Kemp is uh, showing a lot of heart in this match for sure. Oh, a chop of his See, own. He's fighting back. He's fighting back. And if Kemp could get this one here. And another eye poke. These guys. It's, well, the referee here, Willie Amalta, has to disqualify these guys. I mean, how many warnings do we have to do? Indeed, there's been uh, quite some cheating in this match so far. And uh, honestly, it is really helping them. They are definitely in control at this point, as it might be only a matter of time. This might be it right here. Looks like a big impact maneuver. That was uh, interesting, to say the least. I, I mean, I've seen some splashes in my day. That's a splash. <laughs> and that's a off-the-rope lateral press. One of his famous maneuvers couldn't get Kid Kemp. Kemp showing definitely a lot of tenacity as Turner is tagged back in. Off the ropes he comes. Double team maneuver. Oh. Kick right to the lower back. Yeah, that could have been right in the kidneys. He might be uh, in the hospital after. That could be a uh, hospitalization. I mean, a, a heel right to the lower back. I mean, that could move a disc Indeed. so easily. You don't know how those bones are very fragile. Now, Kid Kemp here, as we see, Sonny D has not tagged in. That's right. Quite an interesting uh, strategy indeed. He's just maybe keeping himself, you know, like in good shape here. And a big sidewalk slam. Keeping himself slam. fresh. Oh, won't be enough. As Kemp taking a hell of a beating, but still ticking. It's like the Energizer Bunny in there. As these guys, Droy and Turner, they keep tagging in and out. Classic tag team strategy by both men. And it's definitely working for them. Oh, big forearm smash. And shades of Frank Drouin. I mean, when a man's not on vacation, the man can wrestle. I don't know what what goes on in the summer for him, for him <laughs> to be wrestling the way he does. But when those forearms come out, I see the, the Frank Drouin that we love to see. The forearm smashing legend. And now, it looks like one of those forearms that Drouin does... Woke up, Kid Kemp! What a big DDT! Can Kemp uh, take advantage here? Or at least try to get to the corner? At least try to tag in Soleil? He really desperately needs to tag Soleil. He in. needs to tag. Soleil is fresh, the freshest man in the match. He needs to tag him. He looks ready. And. Uh, what? What is this? Prez, what's going on? Soleil refusing to tag in. He's just going to leave him? So this is essentially going to become a handicap match, it seems, at this point. I, I just don't understand what's going on. Drouin going for the object. Kemp pulls it away. Hits Drouin right over the head. Oh, my God. What a turn of events. Could that be enough for, for Kemp? He's trying to go for the tag again, but no one's there. Saleh refusing to tag again. Drouin tagged back in. No, these they guys got are, Kemp. And, and, I mean, these guys are just bullies at this point. Unprettier by Bulldog. Now what do they have in mind? Oh. oh. What a smash right to the back of That's the head. It. One, two. That's all we got. Sonny D. Soleil, you're a coward. Sonny D. Soleil literally did nothing in this match. What does this mean for Sonny D. Soleil in 1-2-3 wrestling? What does this mean for Kid Camp in 1-2-3 wrestling? We just got to find out.